Good morning. Well, this is just to the south side of Interstate 80 in Applegate, and you can still see some of these crews behind me working to mop up this fire. They were able to contain it to just about two and a half acres, but look at what they were dealing with as this fire sparked overnight. The investigation into what caused it continues, but you can see this uneven terrain and little hot spots continue to flare up here, here on the hillside. A lot of manzanita bushes, oak trees, and pine trees really creating a lot of fuel for this fire to spread quickly. Now, we fought, followed some of those Cal Fire crews up the hill this morning. They got out here fast, wasting no time, knowing what the fire behavior has been like for a lot of these fires in Northern California as of late. They wanted to make sure that they got an early handle on this, and they certainly did. Multiple hand crews making their way up these steep hillsides to try to make sure they could put out the flames before they spread to any nearby homes. Here is what John Woody with the Placer County Fire Department and Cal Fire tells me about some of their efforts to fight this fire overnight. So we had a dozer here that was able to construct uh, certain sections of the line, but because of some of the terrain features and because of I'll some of the uh, rock outcroppings that are in this area, our dozer was only able to get into certain spots. So we're utilizing our two hand crews a lot more to tie that line in and, and uh, work with the ground resources. And a lot of ground resources. We saw Placer Fire, Colfax, even some from Nevada County this morning, all coming out to make sure that they could put an early stop to this. Crews are still out here mopping up. They are using their fire hoses and trying to put out any of those hot spots. We've also seen some of these hand crews come out with their rakes and shovels. They'll literally dig into some of those coals and cover them back up with dirt so that an ember can't fly up and reignite any of this dry brush when the wind picks up later today. I was told the one saving grace in this is that the humidity levels were higher overnight. When which helped to keep the spread of this fire down. Voluntary evacuations were put into place, but they were quickly lifted. Placer County Sheriff's Office initiating those just in case with some of the residents who live here. But again, now it looks like this fire is wrapping up.